Through the years, I've lived uh, in many places. I've lived in Sweden, where I live now. I've lived in Finland. I've lived in France. I've lived in England. Uh, I have wanderlust. I am a citizen of the world, and my children are citizens of the world. My youngest, Oscar, is somebody I call the Blueberry Boy, and he is uh, surely a citizen of the world, somebody who I'm sure will feel at home many places, as I do. Uh, I think it's a question of finding your people, and your people are not necessarily just your blood relatives, but they are the people who like the same music, the same food. Uh, we are a tribe spread out over the globe. Daddy died young in the Yazoo heat. Papa tried his whole life to make ends meet. My pride couldn't take it. I cussed the balls. I had to run. With a dollar in my pocket, I hit highway 61. My big brother Taj Mahal had an album uh, back in the 70s called Music Keeps Me Together. And I, I really live by that, that theme. Music, especially music that I am able to share with people from many parts of the world. With a dollar in my pocket, I hit Highway 61. And I think this open-heartedness that music can induce in us is what's needed right now because we are all wanderers, we are all migrants, we have all come to where we are from some other place. And the empathy that's needed now to keep this world from falling apart is what I'm trying to encourage. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me As I was walking In that ribbon of highway I saw a boy We decided on this trio for this album because we really like each other. <laughs> this land was made for you and me Acoustic music really has the heart, the empathy that I think belongs to this topic. We're talking about uh, our brothers and sisters around the world who are in distress, uh, trying to find a, a safe haven. And uh, these sounds, I think, are the right ones to frame 
those kinds of songs. Mm. Yeah. You never know when you're happy, so you better think about it, because uh, a lot of people are not. Mm. two very important things in life. It's time and place. Time you cannot resist. You will die any day, of course. And the only attempt to resist to time is music, maybe. Because we're, music is uh, trying to sculpt in the time. I really don't know what to add to that, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Your music speaks for you. <laughs> I met Michael Jerome Brown at a festival in Calgary, uh, Canada, in 2001. I heard the sound of a gourd banjo, an old fretless slave banjo that he was playing. I expected to see somebody who looked more like me. He didn't look like me, but he sounded like his ancestors were African. A great player of many instruments, banjo, mandolin, guitar, harmonica, fiddle, he sings. Um, we just needed to make a record together, a whole record. When it comes to the issue, the question of migration, something I've thought a lot about. I don't see migration as a problem. I see migration, the huge numbers of people on the move that we're seeing in Europe today, for example, I see that as an opportunity, an opportunity to realize that we are one. We are connected and we are all human beings who really desire the same things. And if we could put ourselves in somebody else's shoes, somebody who's trying to escape uh, a situation that is uh, unlivable. I think uh, if we could extend our hearts to those people and realize that it could be us, we are going to be better human beings and we're going to create a better world for our children.